Welcome back. Welcome to my channel where I am currently documenting the move from my office space back to my garage at home, my home space. And it may look like we're making no progress at all. <laughs> oh, that is bad. But in actual fact, we are making some good, good progress. I've been taking a trolley load of unlisted stock home every day. In fact, I'm lying. I did it yesterday, one load, but that's my plan moving forward to get all of the unlisted stuff in the garage on the to-do racking, meaning once that's in there, all that will be left for me to take over is screwed stuff, which the majority is boxes, apart from a couple of bits on top. That's just gonna be the best process for me. I figured it out, I figured it out. I worked it all out, all right? Worked it all out. So that's gonna be the best option. I do have some sales to go through today, so I'm gonna pick those first. I think maybe I might fill the trolley up first, just to get, just to get some space out, because there's a lot of shit going on over there. Finally got through to my man, part-time gamer gonna send him an offer on those vinyl decks so they should be gone them games jack pulls his finger at his ass them games will be gone as well i'm gonna box them up today so they're in a box and just out of the way that should clear a lot of that and then i'll fill the trolley up so that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna do i've got loads of sales to pack and i don't even know where anything is so that'll be fun i'm just wondering how many of you have seen the celebrity blackout movement that's going on <laughs> i am loving it for those of you that are not aware that hayley berry whatever her name is hayley bailey whatever her fucking name is decided to go to the met gala as a guest she wasn't even invited and dress up as marie antoinette and state let them eat cake with the state of the world going on right now probably wasn't the best move was it a little bit of context marie antoinette back in the 1700s when asked what she was going to do about the people who couldn't afford to eat the peasants were complaining they had no bread left marie antoinette said let them eat cake this cake was more expensive and basically i'm sure you get the message but because of this hayley bailey whatever her name is everyone's now blocking all the celebrities fantastic power to the people we are the people we have the power basically well so what i'm gonna do is just clear up all the like little nitty bitty pieces i mean what is that that are on the shelf do you know what i'm saying i've got loads of empty game cases down here and stuff A ton of mega drive games untested master system games Everybody was whinging at me last time. You said Mega Drive, then Master System. Oh, I can't. Calm down. Jeez. More bowls, yeah, because I need more bowls, don't I? So I've just got like bits and pieces like this that just need to go into here for transportation. Basically, look, three Sony Walkmans, some good ones there as well. Obviously, the spares repairs because. That's how a lot of the shit came. You have to remember, I was getting a lot of my stuff from a recycling centre contract, one of them. You know, even though some of it works and some of it's good, there's a reason why most of it goes to a recycling centre. So a lot of the stuff I was getting was, looks good on the outside, on the inside, fit for the bin or spares repairs. Basically, Akali, just literally grabbing stuff and bits. Oh shit, I was supposed to give them to James. James, if you're watching, sorry bro, I forgot to do the tablets. Yeah, I forgot my man. So yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna fill up boxes, not necessarily empty in the shelf in particular, just grabbing what I can what fits in the box. Fill the trolley up, then I'll crack on and do some postage. So I know you're all wondering, Ricky, what's happening to your eBay store if you're not listing? Well, my 90 days has gone from 13.5, which wasn't a lot anyway, to 9.8, I think now. But we don't worry about things like that. We can soon get that back. And like I said, eBay is not my only source of income. Right, next box. I've got the fucking phone sitting in it. Same again, we'll just fill it up until the trolley's full. I might take the stereo over today. So that's annoying me, carrying that around. Whoa, loads of gaming stuff. Tons and tons of gaming stuff. I might see if I can show you that in a minute. So that stereo, when I first tested it ages ago, there were things wrong with it, but I can't remember what they were now, so I've got to test it all again. I can't remember if it was the tape cassette or the CD or both or something, something to do with the volume as well. So uh, that's all we're gonna be looking at. Should I take that mead? I might take the mead actually. I think I'm gonna need this. Yeah. 
so like I've said before, I know my plan of attack has always been to take a shelf down, but today it's just fill the trolley. Here's a box I prepared earlier. By earlier, I mean yesterday, but I still do it. Yeah, look, take a look at all these consoles. There's a few more scattered around in places like there as well, but... PS2s, Xboxes, Sega Saturns, Crystals, Xbox Ones, 360s down there, PS3s, Xboxes, all sorts. This box here is full of all like accessories and stuff. Wires, leads, that's a big old box. I think that will do for today's trolley load, unless I can find something light like to put on top because it's starting to get a bit precarious. Right now I've got, I fucking didn't even clear any space on the table, did I? Let me make up a box for Jack so I can get rid of them boxes, so I'll get rid of them games. I heard there's a certain somebody in the community waffling again because I've had to go back to my garage. This person seems to think that me going into my garage is going back on myself, like it's a downgrade. How you even measure anybody's success or failures by the size of the space they have is unreal. A lot of people have spaces so big that they don't even need them and they can barely afford them, but they keep them because it looks good for their YouTube channel. I, for one, couldn't give a shit. If I work out of a garage, a shed, a 50,000 square foot warehouse, it doesn't measure my success. It just means how big the operation is, that's it. My success is the fact that I'm paying my bills and my family's good. Whether that's with a million in the bank or a grand. I've, I've barely got a grand in the bank at the minute. But the difference between me and you, mate, you give a shit. <laughs> I don't. You want to be somebody in this YouTube world. I've already done the graft. I have a standing. I have a community. You're desperate. So desperate. And anybody who's anybody can see it. I'm not going to name you anymore. You know who you are. I've got no issue naming you. I'm not fucking scared of you. I don't want to give you that clout. Let's fuck Jack's games off into this box. All right, that's the Wii selection he's getting. Some nice titles. Oh, of course, and some Wii Sports. Just wouldn't be a bundle, would it, without Wii Sports? PlayStation bundle, 360 bundle, and PS2s. And some other bits. I've also got a box full of empty cases along with some good bits in there as well. Some nice cases. And I could sell all these separately, but Jack's dealt with me for a while now and I love how much he loves it when he can't tell which ones he's paid for and which ones are free and empty. So we just... <laughs> we just pile them in. <laughs> Had to pack them nicely, otherwise I couldn't close the box. So Jack, if you're watching and I forget to text you, everything that's upside down, mainly this side, and two fillers there, is empty and free. I'm not gonna bore you with this bit, but I know I've got quite a few small parcels that I'm gonna pick in a minute. So I'm just gonna pre-make a few boxes to get that ready. And then I'll come back to you once I've picked the items that I've sold. I'm only gonna do the small items today and the ones that obviously have to be out by today, which thankfully there's only four of those, but I picked a few of them out today. In no particular order, Attack of Titan, World Collectible Figure. £26.99. pence. It's a Japanese import. I think I could have got more, but I priced it competitively and got it gone. Jurassic Park figure. Gone on global shipping, £12.95. I turned global shipping back on, by the way. Remember, I turned them off because I was angry and aggressive at them. That geezer scammed me and I was annoyed. What can I say? I've got no help from eBay regarding it, so it pissed me off. £16.39 for a set of four of these old beer trays. They're dented, ratty and tatty, but still good. That adds to the character, doesn't it? A bit of patina. Central Regalia Cufflinks, £8. Two of my favourite things to sell, the LED drivers. I don't know if you can see down there. No, you probably can't. There you go. Look. That box just there. Full of them. They sell consistently between £5 to £7 each. People normally buy two at a time. Sometimes 30 one bloke brought. £12 for this hand-carved figurine treen piece. Really, really nice. Couldn't find anything out about it. It does have some dates on the bottom, 1962, and some other bits of pieces of information, but... We sold it on. I'm running a lot of promotions at the moment and Matt actually told me about the newsletter. I had no idea about it. It's a big up project games. Go and follow him if you don't. He's a man full of knowledge, but he doesn't have the audience to share it with, which is ridiculous. Next up for seven pound, we have a slide sheet, patient slide sheet. So when somebody is in a problem and they can't move, you can slide this under them and 
hoist them up. Seven quid. Sony Zoom microphone. This is the gun style, sold for 30 pounds all in. I've had this for fucking ages, probably last car boot season. Space pneumatic punch thing. It's not worth a hell of a lot of money at all. And in fact, it sold for £10.80 all in. I think I paid £2 for that. Shows what you don't know. I've got a set of five of these home cinema speakers now. So you can imagine there's four more. I'm not going to pick them all up. Sold for £17.99. LED heating, cooling, control thing for like geckos, lizards and all those kinds of things. I think like vivariums and whatever else. It's a temperature thermostat. Sold for £14.99. £13.49 actually because of a coupon. Volkswagen VW Transporter in-car door speakers. Parcel, not parcel shelf, just indoor speakers. Sold for £31.49. I've got some more, but I'm not going to pick or pack those. Oh yeah, here we go. I've already picked these. Some Sony Dynamic Studio headphones for £12. It does need some new cups. I've mentioned that. And I think that's everything I've picked. There is some more stuff, but I'm not going to carry on doing that just yet. I'm actually going to tell you about this geezer, actually. This geezer last night sent me a... A message on an item asking me if it was a certain size is this 16 millimeters it was the um it's this he sent me a message at about half 10 quarter to 11 last night saying is this 16 millimeters he'd sent me an offer 10 minutes later i got a notification that he just bought it and paid for it outright so i messaged him like bro you haven't given me a chance to respond to your message and you've just purchased it what if it's wrong i'm gonna have to cancel the order if you don't like it what would you like me to do he was started responding with a bunch of goofy stuff i'll put some screenshots up because i can't be asked to explain it Long story short, he inquired about an item for some extra information, couldn't wait, bought it. Turns out if it's not what he wants, he doesn't want it. So I'm like, I'll find out tomorrow. I'm just going to message him and say, sorry, mate, it's not 16 mil. I'm going to cancel it and block him. Because in his head, he's thinking, I'll just, I'll just buy it anyway. I've sent the inquiry. He hasn't answered at half 10, 11 o'clock at night. So I'm just going to buy it. And if it's wrong, I'll send it back. Yeah, but you'll be the one paying for it. But you could be like chatting some shit not as described or whatever else so it's not worth it i'm going to say sorry it's not 16 mil cancel the order and block him it's not worth it for 30 quid not worth it well let me get these packed up babies parcels that i'm willing to do today have been done so we're going to take these home along with that trolley and start sorting out that garage at home because it needs to be done today unintentionally but i've just realized i forgot one but keys are in hand now and that oh my god keys are in hand so they get they get they get it's done little by little little by little what do you think? Do you think that's the most logical thing to do? Take the unlisted stuff, store that, and then bring the listed? I do, but let me know what you think. What would you do? We all know I'm not the best at making decisions. I, I'm not even joking. I just filled the car, just about to leave, and I was like, where's my fucking parcels? I haven't even brought my fucking parcels back. So I need to go back and get them all, which is a pain in the ass. It's a pain. So now I've got to go and get them all again. And... Oh, anyway. Let's go and get these bloody parcels. I'll actually forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. But we know this. This is this is common knowledge. What the fuck? Did I leave the parcels? They're not in the car. They have to be. What the fuck? Fucking hell. Fuming. Right, let's go for the fifth time today. Why don't I just take the keys off for? I've got to put them back in. I'm turning the light off. Oh my God. Let's see if we can't get out of here today, shall we? You neurotypicals, mate. You've no idea how easy you've got here. <laughs> no idea. That's the car emptied and most of the stuff onto the shelves. And we're starting to get stacked back in there quite nicely now probably another four or five journeys with the unlisted stuff which should hopefully fit into these gaps here but i'm going to be listing it as i go along as well that's my only option and then all of the listed stuff will go up here piece of cake probably with a bit of spare space as well tempted i might keep this for a rail i might not even put another shelf up there which was the plan might just put a clover mail there for hot knot. I think that's where I'm going to leave the video because I've got a lot I need to crack on with today. Thank you ever so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate your time. Drop a comment down below and like the video if you can. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Take care. I love you all. Bye.